here welcome in my next video for hip kit club uh, today i will be creating this uh, fun layout with uh, florals uh, and watercolors using march kits and i will be mixing all the kits um, the watercolor set from Vicky Buten you are uh, seeing right now on the screen uh, was a part of color add-on kit uh, in March and I will use uh, those paints to color my flowers. I cut them with Silhouette Cameo using one of the subscriber cut files for Mark designed by Kimberly. Uh, I really love those cherry blossoms and I'm going to paint them. I use a white cardstock from American Crafts to cut them. Uh, so I didn't use any uh, watercolor paper and now I'm just going to paint them using various colors of paints mostly pink with a little bit of red and uh, a tiny addition of uh, purple I will also add green uh, for the stems and uh, yellow for the insides of the flowers uh, <laughs> I'm so, so so sorry for my voice. I know I don't sound like me, but I am sick again. So I might sound a little bit masculine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what I was going to say? Oh, I am painting my flowers using just a brush, a little bit of water. Um, you can fast, you can cut those flowers from pattern papers or maybe a colorful cardstock and you won't have to paint them but i think painting the flowers each ma is much faster way to customize them than cutting every single flower using different pattern paper <clears throat> With American Crafts cardstock, you can easily add uh, a little, a lot of water on it, especially when you have uh, cut files like that, uh, because it some uh, it has some kind of a cover uh, that is um, very smooth and it prevents the paper from tearing. Of course, you have to wait for the flowers to dry because when they are wet, they are gentle. Uh, but I really like using American Crafts uh, American Crafts cardstock with some small watercolor uh, projects. Of course, you cannot paint uh, on it using washes and uh, waiting for the uh, paints to uh, mix because they will instantly uh, dry on the paper and you will not be able to move the color again but when it comes to painting cut files like those American Crafts cardstock is just perfect uh, uh, sometimes I use watercolor paper for this purpose but uh, today I didn't have any because I just ordered a batch of uh, watercolor papers and I was des desperately uh, wanting to use those watercolors by Vicky Buten. It's my first project with them. I want to try them. Uh, that's why I decided to use American Crafts cardstock. And when it comes to those watercolors, you have to remember that the colors that are uh, on the labels on the tubes are not the same like the colors inside the tubes. So uh, before you use the color, uh, try it uh, on some uh, additional paper. Don't put it directly on the place you want them to be because uh, many colors doesn't look exactly like they are uh, on the tubes and you have to remember about this. But this paint set uh, has very vivid colors and uh, the price is really good. So it's um, just a minor, <laughs> minor things and uh, it's still a great product for the price, I think $10. Uh, I will also use this paper for my background. This one is from Frolly Flourish Collection by Maggie Holmes. I printed uh, three pictures from our trip to Holland uh, two or three years ago. We were uh, visiting Holland in uh, late April and this is the time where the, when the tulips blossom uh, all over the country and we visited the Kelkenhof Gardens and this uh, 
those gardens are filled with uh, numerous uh, tulips in um, in special arrangement in many colors shapes and it was really a great day and a wonderful uh, adventure and Maya was so tiny back then and she was like oh ah what the colors and look at this pretty flowers mommy she really liked uh, like the um, the number of colors that were surrounding the hair and she wanted to touch every flower and <laughs> I, I had to uh, I had to guard her so she won't pick up the flowers because it's uh, not allowed but I uh, of course snapped a few pictures when she was sniffing them and touching the petals and I I really like those pictures she's so cute um, and now I uh, will surround the pictures with uh, the flowers I painted. Uh, <clears throat> the background I use is really uh, pale, so the flowers will stand out from this background. I also added colorful frames behind my pictures. I used the papers from uh, March Main Kit. The yellow one is from the Lizzie collection. The pink one is also from the Flourish collection. And now I'm trying to arrange my flowers. I tried this arrangement before. That's why I, I have a picture on my phone. Uh, because when I'm happy with the result, I snap the picture. And so I will not regret later that I can't arrange them once again. And I also glued down my flowers. I did it off the camera because it wasn't really anything uh, important. Everyone knows how to glue stuff. Uh, and now it's time to add some bits and pieces to my composition. I like those flowers. They are from Flourish collection. The one on the branch is from the sticker set. And the bigger one is a vellum uh, bird from Ephemera Pack. Mm, I thought they look so uh, springy. Springish. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that. Uh, and I want to add them to my composition. I'm also adding a few flowers in pink and yellow colors because they match my page and I know it will be uh, the second project in similar color palette. But what can you do when you like a uh, yellow and pink color combo? I have so many projects that uh, connects uh, yellow and green, yellow and pink because I really like how those two colors look good look together. Uh, I, I am also going to add those uh, arrows from uh, Pink Fresh Studio uh, chipboard sticker set. Um, they are covered with this rose gold foiling uh, and I will add a title with the rose gold. I was going to add so many embellishments like butterflies and uh, flowers but every time I added something I thought no it's just too much because the flowers are already busy and they are very decorative. Can I say that? Uh, you know they embellish the page a lot and you really don't need much uh, of other embellishments and now I'm creating a title using those rose gold stickers that were included in one of the March kits and I'm adding just a coke and a half and uh, I will also add <coughs> sorry garden using those uh, stickers from Flo Flourish collection. Uh, it's a sticker kind of a book, I would say. It has four sheets of stickers, two of them are alphabets. One is uh, inscriptions and some labels and another one is also some labels. I really like uh, elements of the collections like this because they are versatile and you can use them in many others other projects and um, and <laughs> and you don't have to use them in, in the same collection because they usually they are very versatile because labels uh, match everything and you can use them in any other project not only connected with the kids um, 
I am adding additional drop of glue and behind my letters because as you probably know if, if you are a scrapbooker the tickers doesn't stick well uh, they are pretty and I really love using them but I always add my own portion of glue behind every letter uh, the exception are the foam tickers because they on the other hand stick very very well and they stick that well that sometimes it's really hard to reposition the uh, letters after you are not happy uh, with uh, the title and you want to remove it with the tickers uh, from chipboard it's really easy but with the tickers made of foam it's not that uh, simple and my final step is to add uh, the enam those enamel dots. They are from Pink Fresh Studio, the case of the blast, I think, collection. But I only use the light pink and yellow ones. And I really love the effect. Uh, I must admit that you can't see how great this page is on the pictures. You can't see how dimensional and how and delicate the flowers are and it really looks much better in real life than in pictures here are the few close-ups of the page uh, I am happy how it turned out uh, I hope you also <laughs> like my page uh, once again sorry for my strange voice but I don't think it's going to be better soon uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the HipKit Club site for uh, the kits and inspirations. Bye bye.